Okay, part two, almost there. Okay, so we're gonna adjust the title here first. So let's go ahead and highlight up here where it says Pinnacle Hiking Club. It's okay if the picture um, gets selected too. And we're gonna choose, it's like Berlin Sands, but it's called that Berlin Sands FB Demi. It's in your Bs for your title. And let's make it size 26 and we're going to center it. Okay. Now, right now it's kind of hard to read um, Pinnacle Hiking Club when it's going over the picture. I'm going to move the picture into the middle of the um, of the text. If your picture is in front of it, go ahead and move it behind. So that's going to be this guy and you're going to move it to behind text. Then we're going to select our, with our picture selected, go up here to picture tools format, go to color, and we're going to choose this green here and then make it bigger. Try and stretch it to be just a little bit bigger than the words Pinnacle Hiking Club. Okay. Then we are going to um, click on our table selector button. This is one thing we went over yesterday. And go to this the Berlin Sands FB. Now notice because we bolded these, they look funny. So we're probably gonna change that. And let's grow our font to size 14. Okay, then just highlight where it says uh, November hiking schedule and just make that the Berlin Sands FB Demi. Maybe make it size 18 and center it. Okay, all right. I guess that looks kind of okay. Let me turn the formatting marks off. All right, so now what we need to do is adjust the uh, table down here. So some of these um, hikes are multiple days. So for instance, the Skyline Trail to Manning Park, we're gonna merge those cells. So it, with my tables, I have to have a cursor in my table to get the table tools up here. And in my layout, I'm gonna go to Eraser and just click these to erase them so that it goes through Sunday through Tuesday. And same thing here, um, Howl Sound Crest Trail is going to be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And um, Diamond Head is going to be Tuesday and Monday. Oops, I lied. Sorry. Uh, Monday and Tuesday. Uh-oh. Don't do that. Um, I really just am trying to help you work on the um, <laughs> undo button. We'll, we'll have it do Tuesday and Wednesday. All right. And then go up here and grab your eraser. Okay. So notice how some of these are up at the top. And uh, because some of these have to wrap to go to the next line, we want all of our text here to be in the middle right and left and also in the middle up and down so that's called um, middle align and center so center is right and left and middle align is up and down so um, even uh, cells where it doesn't really apply you can go ahead and do this too so we're going to click on the table selector button and we're going to choose this button here under uh, table tools layout in the alignment tab, this is this align center button. So it aligns it right and left and up and down. See how much nicer it looks there? All right. Um, we're going to change our borders to gray on the table and see if that looks any better here. So we're going to click on the table selector button. Go up here to table tools design. Go to borders. 
and say borders and shading. And just make sure all of your borders are selected. And uh, let's keep it that line. Change it to gray here. And then maybe make it one and click OK. So what that should do is give a little bit of a line in between some of these and maybe make it just a little bit easier to see. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is add a picture down here and have some text with it. All right, we're going to insert an online picture. Okay, this time we're going to search for mountain hiking clip art again. down here and well, actually we can just choose this picture here all right now we're going to edit this picture a little bit um, we're going to go to crop and move these lines here so they're just around the actual picture we don't want the white part of it go ahead and uncheck or unclick crop again we might need it though here in just a minute and then we're gonna flip these guys I don't know why but I want them hiking the other way so over here on rotate we're gonna say flip horizontal so now they're facing the opposite way okay and then in our picture styles we're gonna choose uh, the beveled oval black okay now the only thing I don't like about this right now is that it cuts off his hat. So I'm going to go here to crop again and move this picture down enough and over to the left just a smidge so you can still see so you can see his hat still and um but you don't see any of that white stuff. Okay. Go ahead and uncheck crop there. Okay, then make sure you move this in uh, front of text and resize it so that it fits. Oh no, look at the top of that there, guys. I'm gonna have to do some adjusting there with my crop. I had it just a minute ago, gosh. Okay, so continue to play with your crop. You might need to Make your picture bigger. See if I make my picture really big. Then look, I can move these guys. Still cutting off his hat a little bit. There, that looks pretty good. There, so much better. I did kind of cut off his hat, but I try. Okay, so um, now we are going to... I'm going to make it just a smidge smaller here. And then try and center it. Now that I've moved it in front of text, you can't really center it. So you just kind of have to eyeball it. Here, Wednesday is the middle of the table. So align your white dot up with the E and wed. And that will be perfect. Okay. Um, we're going to add text here that says happy trails to you. I'm going to have it go below the text. So this is going to be a word art. So we're going to go to insert word art. And it doesn't really matter which one you choose. Just go ahead and choose um, this basic fill, but happy trails to you. Okay. Highlight your text and make it that same Berlin Sands there. Just Berlin Sands FB. Now you could just set it there 
but we're going to try and take it a little a step a little further here so with your word art selected under drawing tools format this gets confusing you want to make sure you go here to word art um, effects and that's called text effects not shape effects text effects here and go down here to transform and choose arch down and maybe choose behind text and see how that works if you move it up now running into problems this didn't used to do this when you click on the little yellow dot I think that looks fine like that or you can keep it straight I think it's kind of nice like that then what we have to do is go here to our um, footer select the text make it that same FB Denny Demi Berlin Sands or just Berlin Sands would be fine FB all right last but certainly not least we're gonna add a border here well second to last let's look here picture tools format under color is there a green look guys there is a green accent color six kind of goes along with the whole thing that we've done I like that green I'm gonna choose green there all right we're gonna add a border um, that's trees so make sure you don't have your picture selected or anything in your table selected just have a blinking cursor somewhere in your um, document go to design page borders go down here to art you do have to scroll down quite a bit there's these trees you can use these let's just choose these trees I lied you don't have to scroll down very far now they come in large and in charge 31 points that's huge so I'm gonna make mine about 15 put them right there now the only thing is sometimes it does go in front of your footer so sometimes you have to go into your footer and press enter to push it up a little bit but either way you're good um, because your your page border comes in front and your your footers always your header and your footers are always behind like your word document there all right go through and make sure you've spelled everything correctly and capitalized things correctly and check on it oh I don't like that my title goes up there now um, and um, once you're done go ahead and put your green stick up and I'll come around and green it um, but again just double check and make sure everything is done correctly and it looks like the example and it looks like it does here on screen as that's what you get credit for um, completing it correctly.